Hey everybody, just wanted to show off a couple of the games I made in Shenzhen IO. Uh, first one here we've got is Classic Simon. Uh, unfortunately I only have three colors and I believe Simon's supposed to be four. But I didn't really optimize this all that well, I just kind of threw it together. Uh, but it works pretty well. Uh, we generate, so green, so we generate, uh, like, and you can totally cheat if you look down here, um, but we generate a bunch of random lights using this little chip here. And so we got one right, so now it'll generate, or it'll use the same table to do two. And we got a little score tracker here. And then if we fuck up uh, and do something wrong, we get a different tone, and then after a few seconds it resets our score. And then it'll also keep track of your score, like if you surpass um, the ones you've generated here, it'll generate a whole new set, and it'll keep your score and you can keep going. And it'll play a little victory tune. So I'm gonna actually like cheat a little bit here. Um, let's Bump that down from 14 total to four. So we can do like a little full game here. So like green, green, red. And as long as it isn't the last one, you can hold the button as long as you want. Green, red, green. I kind of wanted to put um, some audio on these like with a different tone, so green, red, green, yellow. So we get like a little, and then it'll start a whole new sequence. Did I miss the sequence? Did it play it while I was looking away? Uh, so I'm gonna cheat here and look, it's obviously a one, but we get a new sequence each time. And then if you bump this back up to 15, and this back up to 14. You'll have 14 combinations that you have to remember and go through, assuming you don't cheat and just look at the answers down at the bottom. Um, and then next one, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, game Crazy Bus, uh, but one of the other Reddit users, was it Brezn, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher your name, Breznavtrav? Uh, went ahead and built one of these, which is just fucking RNG hooked up to speakers and it makes this lovely sound. And so that kind of inspired me to do Crazy Bus. Um, I, don't, I don't know if, how many of you are familiar with it, but um, it has the most wonderful music, first of all. And this is, a, this is a pretty honest recreation of the music. So here, let me, um, I'll go ahead and play the actual Crazy Bus title screen for a little bit here. Hopefully you don't get too annoyed with me. But it's fucking rocking, man. This, listen to this. It's amazing. Uh, and the gameplay is also amazing. So what you do is you press start and you got, you got your little bus here and you get your little score. And then you can hold right and your bus will move, and this is a, this is a faithful recreation here. Um, your bus will move, then when it hits the end of the screen, it comes back on the other side, and your score increases. Uh, it, the one feature that is missing right now is in the original Crazy Bus, you could actually go in reverse as well. I also don't have honking the horn. That's not supposed to be a horn, that's supposed to be like the driving sound. Um, but you could go in reverse, and if you did that at the very start of the level, it would your uh, your score would underflow to the maximum score. So that was like the way to get the top score on Crazy Bus was not not to hold uh, hold right for an hour, but to actually you know reverse for one second. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd show this off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed making them. I just kind of threw them together. Not, they're not super optimized. Like I'm sure if I reorganize this layout, I could probably do something cool. Like maybe I don't know, throw an AND gate or something on these outputs, and then um, 
if any you know any button or anything is being held down you know it'd play a tone or something so that it's a little bit more like the actual Simon I think it played sounds I don't know but um, that's it catch you guys later